Look, first of all, it's a critically important issue, right? I mean, there are parents, there are workers who are trying to figure out, you know, where is the job of the future going to be for me? We saw a plant closing in Ohio recently. Imagine but what do yourself... But the people in that room really know? They, they do know. They're dealing with it every day. The CEOs, um, I could tell you, even, every one of my clients is dealing with it. And they're, everything from finance and banking to heavy industry are trying to sort out what to do with their workforces, where to source talent for the future so that they could be as productive as possible. They're having trouble finding people for a lot of these jobs. And even in this economy, right, where it's super low uh, uh, unemployment. unemployment, people are still having, uh, uh, you know, we still have these gaps with skills and people to be, able, to be able to get in these jobs. That needs to be fixed if we want to be as productive as we can be. So, Steve, is this about workforce development? Um, you know, and, and if so, I go back to the, the notion that four out of the, the top six fastest growing jobs of 2026 don't require much more than a high school diploma. So are we trying to develop the workforce for specific shortages and specific parts of the market? Or are we concerned about this in terms of getting the participation rate up overall? Well, the, the, the labor participation rate is, has improved a little bit. But look, you've got 7 million job openings here that can't be filled. That's an historic high. If you look at the number of working age people, men and women, who are sitting on the sidelines, it's over 22 million people. Now, there are a lot of reasons for that. Some don't want to work. Some are disabled. But clearly, the biggest issue is this skill development. They have 7 million positions that they don't have qualified people for. So the issue is, how are we going to close that skills gap? I think this um, workforce task force is really important because you can't do it strictly with business, you can't do it strictly with government. You have to come together and you have to come up with a program that trains these people and gives them the right skills so that these jobs right. can be filled and we can start growing this economy and keep it growing at a high rate. And I would agree with that personally, but you know there have been this sort of uh, these work these board advisory groups with the president within the administration, and CEOs have left for political reasons. Tony, and so I'm wondering what you know is the environment different this time around? Are we just a headline away from some of these CEOs? It's saying a great question. Goodbye? Yeah, no, it's a, it, it, I think it really is an important question for these CEOs. Some of these CEOs, the last time we saw them, you know, associated with the White House was leaving uh, after Charlottesville. The comments, Ginny Rom, uh, Rometty in particular. Uh, famously uh, uh, was early in leaving and uh, and helped to lead to that. So, look, there's some political and reputational risk for them. Um, I do think they think this issue is so important that they, they should go and try to participate, lend their ideas, lend their expertise, and try to contribute to solutions. So, Tony, uh, and also, Steve, you've been in sessions like these. What What is the is the outcome of them? What happens next? What do they do? Yeah, well, you know, typically there's a working group. There, there are follow-on sessions. I was very disappointed a few years ago when uh, those task forces wrapped up for political reasons. This is policy, and I think it's really important that CEOs and business leaders stay involved with the policy side. So this will be the kickoff. It'll get the issues on the table. There will be working groups. Uh, the companies will come back with reports. They'll work with uh, Ivanka Trump and uh, the Commerce Secretary and others as, as part of this whole thing. But hopefully there'll be a plan put together that says here's what uh, individual corporations will do and here's what the government needs to do in order to close these skill, uh, these skill gaps.